Harley-Davidson The first brand that comes to mind when you think of bikes. Harley-Davidson is the symbol of freedom, the most well-known global motorcycle brand. What many do not know is that Harley and the Davidson brothers started out in a small shed in the 1900s. In today's episode, we will discuss the story of Harley-Davidson. Born in the 1880s, William Harley and Arthur Davidson grew up together in the same neighborhood in Milwaukee. Their friendship was unlike any other boys in their neighborhood. Both loved riding bicycles and fishing. They would ride together on the streets getting groceries, going to parks and schools. Maybe this is how they found their true love, the feeling of wind passing their face, the excitement and the thrill of riding independently. William's love for bicycles made him take a job at a Milwaukee-based bicycle factory at 15, where he designed his first internal combustion engine. Arthur, who was a draftsman, would spend the coming years with William working on a prototype in their spare time. William started to draw plans out that would allow them to place an engine on a regular bike. After drawing plans, they started to build their first motorbike. Various machine parts were manufactured, or at least they attempted to manufacture them. They soon realized that they needed a machinist. For that, they called in a man who from his youth was interested in repairing bikes, who was known to make his own batteries. They reached out to Arthur's older brother Walter and asked him if he could take a look at their work. Walter walked into their workshop expecting a finished product hoping to only troubleshoot for problems. But as it turns out, he walked into a workshop full of unfinished manufactured parts that were no way near close to the drawings. Talking with William and Arthur, Walter saw the passion they had and he knew right away that they were in it for the long run and joined them. They then called it William Davidson, who at the time was working at a railroad company. William walked into the office and was quickly inspired by the team even though at the railroad he was making good money. He recognized his skill set would bring in savings, because he knew how to find a deal with the right person for daily operations. The team got to work on a single-cylinder engine bike that required pedaling. Pedaling would build enough engine compression that would allow the bike to move forward. Two years after the first drawing, the model came to life in 1903. The model worked smoothly but only on straight rods, riding uphill, required a lot of pedaling. When the team got back to their garage, they realized that a motorbike that was unable to climb uphill will not do much good. So they started a new design and finished the first prototype in 1904. To test out the new machine, they entered a race at the State Fair Park. Watching the race was the Automobile and Cycle Trade Journal, who decided to list their bike in their 1905 published copy. The bike was official in the public's eye and orders started to come. They would build bikes in their garage, however, because of limited space, they could only manufacture and sell five bikes. By the end of the year, they decided to move out of the shed and started production in a factory. William took over the production requirement and made sure that everything necessary to keep the factory running smoothly was available. Because of bigger space, they were able to produce 50 bikes. More orders came in and plans of expanding factory were in effect. Expanding the factory meant more space, and more space meant more bikes. 150 to be exact. Some of these bikes were sold to the local police department. By now, Walter had become a biker, winning several races, including 1908 Federation of American Motorcyclists Endurance Run in the Catskill Mountains. The winning helped them attract more attention from the press, which meant more order. The team at Harley-Davidson was now looking to improve their engine and came up with two-cylinder design in 1909. The engine was called V-Twin that could reach speeds as high as 60 miles per hour. With that, the production rose to 3,200 machines. By 1914, Arthur Davidson had the USPS using 4,800 bikes to deliver mail. In 1917, President Woodrow Wilson went before a joint session of Congress to request a declaration of war against Germany. U.S. was officially in World War I and Harley-Davidson wanted to help out. They ramped up their production of J-bikes to 20,000 to help troops in war efforts. The motorcycle was armed with machine guns and served as an ambulance. On the rainy night of November 8, 1918, a soldier, Roy Holtz, was ordered to take his captain out on a night mission. 
Knowing that they were going straight into their enemy's territory, Roy followed his orders and took his captain on a trusted Harley-Davidson J model. Losing the sight of where they were, the captain asked Roy to knock on a door and ask for directions. The door knock was answered by a German soldier. Roy and his captain were captured. Luckily, the armistice was signed on November 11, ending the war. Roy and the captain started their journey back, and on their way back, they were the first Americans to ride around Germany freely after the war. A picture was taken of Roy riding his beloved Harley-Davidson J motorcycle, giving a new meaning to freedom on two wheels. With the picture, more orders came in, and by 1920, Harley-Davidson became the largest motorcycle manufacturer in the world. Sadly, this did not last as long, with worldwide economic depression in the 1930s. Sales began to fall to just under 4,000 motorcycles annually. Harley-Davidson was in trouble. But then, Walter had an idea. Instead of focusing just on a costly bike, they should make a product that could be bought at a lower cost. They entered the clothing lineup. Their name was printed on a leather jacket. As the depression was coming to an end, they were among the two U.S. motorbike manufacturers to have survived. Sadly, in the coming years, the founders passed away. 1937, William Davidson. 1942, Walter Davidson. 1943, William Harley. 1950, Arthur Davidson. A childhood friendship allowed the world to ride freely. A globally recognized brand was built on the streets of Milwaukee by two kids riding around their neighborhood. Because William Harley drew the first plans of a bike with engines, the Davidsons decided to name the company Harley Davidson. Until next time, have a good one.